Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, it's been actually a while that I've shared my everyday makeup routine and to be honest it doesn't change that often but I have like a couple of new like beauty products I've been like using a lot lately. So I'm just gonna get ready for today and I just wanted to share with you what kind of products I'm using today. So I have a little bit a sleepy head. I'm gonna put these up. So I keep my, I don't even use that many products for just my everyday makeup look because I basically don't have time to do a lot in the morning. So skin prep is everything for me and and first I'm going to use this B Glow by Garlam and you can use this as like a primer or like something like underneath your makeup and you can see it has this like very nice smooth consistent and there's actually real honey in here and that makes your, it actually smells like honey, it's crazy. The honey really like smoothens the skin. Gives me this glow. There we go. I really like always to use like a good primer underneath foundation or anything because it really makes a difference and if you prep the skin, you don't have to use as much products. Give it a little massage. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be major, major difference because if you guys have seen in my previous videos that I always, always use the Giorgio Armani foundation. And now recently, I started using this Marc Jacobs Shameless 24 hour foundation. And the reason why, oh, let me shake this first. The reason why I use this is because there's some sunscreen in there. If I have a full day like outside, I will always use like <clears throat> extra sun protection. But now I'm just like inside and maybe like walking to the car or whatever. So I just got a foundation with uh, some sunscreen in here. I'm using this like Sephora brush to kind of spread it out over my skin. There we go. Oh, I feel so puffy today. Um, we went yesterday to a Chinese restaurant and all like the food magazines and stuff really recommended it because it was like a cool spot. It was like far out of in Bushwick, like in Brooklyn, New York. So we're like, oh, let's try it out, you know? It's kind of cool. And it looked like really like urban with, yeah, it kind of looked like a I don't know, I would have. when I walked in I was like, oh, I could definitely see this in like Berlin, which I've never been to, but that's kind of the feeling I got. And it just looked really cool, the dishes looked very cool. And the food was so unbelievable salt, like so salty. We, the first dish, like we, I, we never ever sent something back to the kitchen because we were like, this is probably a mistake, you know? It's maybe too much salt by accident or whatever. But I still feel like super, super puffy after eating all the salt. Also, tip for you guys, always do your neck and your ears. Otherwise, the coloring is different. You don't want that. So, then I'm getting my beauty blender. Then for my concealer, this never switched actually. This is the Charlotte Tilbury liquid concealer. Ah. It works really well. Getting those puffy eyes. I don't know what time it is then, like six or whatever. They start like building, and I'm just like, no. I moved away from this. Ah. On the other side, let's see it in a positive way. It's a good alarm every morning. If if I wake up, like I just hear noise and I stay awake. <laughs> there we go. So then I'm going to do my brows. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer. This one I bought by accident, kind of the thicker one, and I've been using it. Uh, 
To be honest, I like the smaller brush a little bit better because you can make um, your eyebrows a little bit more precise, but you know, this works too. So, oh, Max is coming back from the gym. I skipped out this morning. We're trying to wake up every morning and then just immediately go to the gym. So like we together and like we're it's done for the day. But yesterday I did Soul Cycle, which you cannot believe because I absolutely hate Soul Cycle. Um, I don't know. I love to bike because I'm Dutch, but for some reason in a class like that, just like non-stop i was like dead but it was um it was for a charity of my good friends frida and harriet and i really want to support them so it was a lot of fun actually while i was doing it i was like oh this feels good but honestly my butt today is just so sore well it's more like my upper legs actually i don't know if you guys have this as well if you're like on a bicycle in the gym that i feel it more in my upper legs than my butt which is quite a shame because i want to work my butt but <laughs> anyway a whole other story a beauty item which i've been using so much lately is this hula contour and i'm sure you guys have seen this and i use this like multi-functional so with the smaller brush i am adding this like into my eyes not into my eyes, into my crease. Okay. And then with a little bigger brush, I'm using this as a bronzer. Getting that summer glow. Oh my god, I'm so, so excited for summer. I'm wondering if you guys made any plans, yeah? Taking a little bigger brush to kind of like spread it out. Mm. So this year I'm going to do something super, super exciting because uh, my family and I planned a trip to Zimbabwe. And for some of you guys who don't know is that I used to live there. Um, I moved there when I was one year old can't remember um, but I moved back to Holland when I was six years old so I do know a little bit of Africa but I don't know if I remember this from old videos and pictures or if this is my memory so I am super super excited to go back and to see yeah kind of where I grew up and like my brother is born there so that's gonna be like a big adventure. We're gonna do like a safari, we're gonna go back to the village and yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. Then I'm going to use this real glow stick and it has a highlighter and it has a blush in one. So you really don't need a lot. Adding a bit more here. And I just use my finger and blend this out. I'm actually looking for, uh, so this is a stick which is super useful, but I'm also looking for another highlighter. This one is gorgeous so look. Super natural. I get such like a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous highlight. But I'm looking for another one, which is just like a single, like this is a double and this is quite big. So something like single highlighter. So if you have any tips or if you have a highlighter which you're obsessed with, please let me know. And then I'm also using a tiny bit of uh, of the blush. I just love makeup products you can just do with your uh, do with your hands. Then I'm using this Tarte mascara.
I'm actually not putting mascara underneath because for some reason, whatever mascara I use, after a couple of hours, there is always black underneath my eyes. And I don't know if this is the way I wink or if this is really the mascara, but I just try to avoid it by just not putting any mascara over there. <laughs> then for my lips, I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Eye Pen. Eye pencil? Lip pencil. Fill it in. I'm going to use this Tarte lipstick in a color Colada, and I love this. It's kind of like a nude. And because it's a day look, I'm using a little like pencil to to apply it. Otherwise, it's just like so much lipstick, and I don't want that. So. Ta -da! And my everyday makeup is done. It is super simple, a nice bronzy look, kind of a lot of nude colors and super, super easy. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video and let me know if you guys want to see some other beauty looks or other routines and give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.